Hey guys, this is Graham here at TheRecordingRevolution.com. I hope you are having an excellent week. Today's video, we're going to take a quick look at elastic pitch in Pro Tools and specifically using it on vocals, how you can change the pitch of your vocals. Um, this is a great, fast, and great sounding tool for quick little slight audio changes on a vocal or changing a harmony entirely. So let me show you two quick examples of how I used elastic pitch on a song recently and how easy it is for you to use it in your Pro Tools sessions. When you have a track that you want to adjust the pitch of, now again, elastic pitch is a static pitch adjustment. So it's not an auto-tune replacement. It isn't um, real-time adjusting pitch as you play, but you can adjust the pitch statically on a note or phrase-by-phrase -phrase basis and it's a non-destructive, great, uh, great sounding algorithm. So let me show you what I mean. I've got this part right here where the vocal and the acoustic guitar are in a quiet break and the drums are about to come back in and he says, he sings a line and he says, yeah. And uh, the singer got back with me with notes when said, the yeah kind of just sounds out of place. Um, and I think the reason he said it sounded out of place was because it wasn't really in the right pitch, but this is what it sounds like before. If I want to be alive, yeah, I, 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 All right, so it's that yeah right here. Life, yeah, I, I, There's nothing wrong with it, but it, it kind of stuck out to him and it wasn't fitting. And so what I decided to do was, because he wanted another take of it and we had no other real take that seemed natural of him saying that little yeah, it was kind of spontaneous and I liked it. But I think the problem was is it wasn't the best pitch. And so what I decided to do is use elastic pitch to bump it up just a hair and let it fit in the key of the song better. And I'll show you what I did to do that. With elastic pitch, you're going to want to find the note or notes that you want to adjust and cut them up to their own region. So I've got the tab to transient button engaged here. And that allows me to just move my cursor right up and click tab on the keyboard, the letter B to break it. And now I've got a region. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. That's the part I want to adjust. Now, over here on the actual track view, you want to make sure that you've analyzed the entire track with Elastic Audio. And this will allow you to do any kind of time stretching or pitch stretching. So you click the Elastic Audio plugin box, which is empty, and you choose an algorithm to adjust. Now, if you're going to do any Elastic Pitch action, you got to have Polyphonic as your algorithm, even though I would typically choose monophonic on a vocal because you can only hit one note at a time. Um, for any time stretching, if you want to adjust the pitch, polyphonic is what you're going to have to do. Now if you haven't analyzed the track before, you're going to have a track gray out briefly as it analyzes and when it comes back online it should look normal and you should see polyphonic and a green light, which means we're good to go. All you're going to want to do now is come up to the region menu and choose Elastic Properties or Option or Alt 5 and that's going to give you a little Elastic Properties box. Most of this is sort of irrelevant but it just allows you to adjust the pitch either by semitones which would be going up half a step and then two semitones is a full note up if you're familiar with the piano and then sense which is very slight adjustments in between pitches. So you can do really fine adjustments also. In our case, he's got this note. Yeah, yeah. I just want to go up a semitone. I'm going to press 1 or plus 1 and click Enter. And if you'll notice, it basically put this little icon right here which says, hey, this has been adjusted by Elastic Pitch or Elastic Audio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me undo it. Yeah, yeah. Redo it. So let's take a listen. If I want to be alive, yeah, I, I, I. Much better, and the artist agreed. It fit right in. It just was the wrong note, and we didn't know it, but Elastic Pitch saved the day. Now, the other place that I needed to use Elastic Pitch was on a harmony. Um, at the end of the chorus, he says, If I want to be alive, to be alive. Let me solo these vocals for you here. If I want to be alive. So right here, be alive. 
I wanted him to actually sing a different harmony, go down a note. And so what I did, if, even though it works, I can make a quick adjustment here without having to just doing any cutting and pasting, and it's not permanent. So let me tab the transient here. And this is what I'm listening to, it's just the harmony. I'm gonna select that and click the letter B to break it. And same thing here, I'm gonna make sure I've got elastic audio on this track in polyphonic. And I'm just going to use Alt-5 to bring up my Elastic Properties window. And this time I'm going to go minus one. I'm going to go down a semitone. All right, there we go. Let's take a listen to it with the melody. If I want to be alive. And what I'm going to do really quick here is just now clean up my edit. This is the original. I'm just going to drag that over a little bit. And I'm just going to come into slip mode and just drag in a little crossfade. Be alive. And just like that, bring it out of solo mode. If I want to be alive. If I and there's using Elastic Pitch and Pro Tools to do just some quick little vocal pitch adjustments. And it's a fast, effective, and completely undoable um, technique. So if you've got Pro Tools 8 or higher, you've got Elastic Pitch, just use that sucker and uh, make some tweaks that you need. Hope this is helpful to you guys. Again, this is Graham at TheRecordingRevolution.com, helping you make better music now. Take care, guys.